Kevin Miles, Zoe's Kitchen came out with earnings last week. Your revenue was up, I think it was over 30%. You beat the street in terms of earnings. You only lost three cents. The street was looking for a loss of six cents. Stock's up over 20% year to date. So how are you doing it? it, it great customers. <laughs> great customer, great team. Um, you know, we're, we're a purpose-driven company. We really focus on the people, uh, both customer and team. And uh, it's really resonating with the consumer. You know, you walk in, get a great experience, a great Mediterranean meal, uh, you know, uh, new menu items. We've done some menu innovation this year. Um, the really, you know, items, ingredients from the 21 countries of the Mediterranean that will continue to grow our menu. Um, in a very time-starved economy today, where consumers are looking for something better uh, and, and a quicker, a quick meal that they can get in and get out, but feel good about what they've eaten. And you specialize in fresh food. Now, after the Chipotle food safety scare, are you doing anything different with regard to the handling of your food? You know, we've always been very focused on food safety. You know, we, we partner with major suppliers around the United States, um, growers and, and uh, companies as well. And, and so we go through extreme, extreme, you know, food safety standards that we look at. So that's always been part of what we do. We have third party um, outside consultants inspect our restaurants on a quarterly basis. Uh, and we inspect our vendors as well. So nothing different, but again, you know, still very heightened awareness around it. All right, let's talk about your growth plans for 2016. How many stores do you have now? How many do you want to have by the end of the year? So we um, are, for the end of the year, we're 34 to 36 is what we think will open this year. Uh, we finished last year right around 170. I think we're at 174 today. Um, so, you know, just shy of 200, right around 200 by the end of the year. And how are you getting the word out? Because I know you're, you're creeping up the northeast coast. I think sure. you're in southern Jersey now. Pretty soon, hopefully, you'll be up here in Manhattan. So tell me how you're advertising and how much you plan to spend on that. Yeah, we don't spend much on advertising. We, we do really virtually no traditional media advertising that you, you know, radio, television, we don't do any of that. Um, most of our work, uh, advertising is through digital, we, you know, through the, the local social channels. Um, a lot of it is local PR. Um, we spend a lot of time in the communities that we uh, have our restaurants in, you know, with the arts program. We have an arts program for children uh, where they paint art and put it on the walls of our restaurant. We give that back. Um, and then another big piece of, of getting the word out is, you know, getting people to taste our food. We have a catering program. It's about 16% of our overall sales. We deliver to offices around the country. Um, and sometimes it's the first time someone's tried our food. Uh, and we believe strongly that you try our food, it's going to drive you back into our restaurants uh, for a dining occasion. So that's where we spend most of our time um, and money as far as a true advertising, if you will, or PR. Right. And the comps have been extraordinary. I think your comps were up uh, almost 8% uh, at last quarter. I think this is a pretty long streak of, uh, of beating comps, same store sales. Talk about how you do that. You know, is it, is it all about new products? Because it, you have a lot of repeat customers. Yeah, so we were uh, just shy of 8%, I think 7-7 seven, seven, um, this, this fourth quarter. Uh, most of all that has come through just brand awareness, building the markets that we currently are in. So there's a lot more brand awareness in Dallas and Atlanta and Charlotte and the, the like, Philadelphia. Um, so the consumer understands how to use us now for lunch and dinner and takeout uh, online. Uh, so that's a big piece of how we're, how we're doing it. You know, we, as you mentioned, we've marked our sixth year of, of you know, same-store sales, so we're very proud of that. But again, I really go back to that, that purpose-driven, giving the customer better for you, clean product, and a great environment. And that's, that's really what's driving our, our success. And then finally, you lease the land under your stores, right? You're Correct. not owning the properties. Can you talk Correct. about the, the franchise opportunities and how you're growing those? Yeah, so we currently have one franchisee. We're no longer franchising the business, so we will continue to grow company-owned restaurants. Uh, we do lease from local landlords and some national landlords as well. Um, so typically an end cap, 2,800 square feet, uh, give or take. And then we do some freestanding buildings as well. But typically you'll see us in lifestyle centers or, you know, centers with some gravity where consumers are, are trading in, on daily needs. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Kevin, uh, thank for coming you. in. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching the street.